Prime Minister seeks trial to the people of the country to those involved in sabotage. Obadul Qadir claims BNP Jamaat was on street with arms in the name of quota movement. No harassment to real students, says Hassan Mahmoud. Those who take pride in the identity of Rajakar should go to Pakistan, says Public Works Minister. Good evening and welcome to News 24 English Bulletin. This is Shehreen Wahid and those were the headlines. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina visited the injured at the National Institute of Traumatology and Orthopedic Rehabilitation in Agargal on Saturday morning. She expressed grief and shed tears over the violence condemning the destruction of state property. The Prime Minister demanded justice and highlighted a conspiracy to cripple the economy. Later, she visited the damaged Shetu Bhabun and a Disaster Management Building in Mahakali, pledging support for victims and criticizing the movement's violence. Al-Malik General Secretary Obaidul Qadir accused BNP Jamaat of exploiting the student movement to cover up their failures. He alleged they committed arson attacks and took to the field with weapons. Qadir made these remarks on Saturday morning after inspecting the fire-damaged building, stressing the destructive tactics used by the opposition to undermine stability. Al-Malik Joint General Secretary and Foreign Minister Dr. Hassan Mahmoud stated that 15 leaders and activists of Chhatra League and Al-Malik were killed in the name of the Kota movement. Highlighting that the students could not commit such heinous acts speaking at a human chain protest in front of the National Press Club, he condemned BNP Jamaat for destroying state property and creating nationwide anarchy. He said believers of a Taliban ideology have created an arc across the country, including in Noshindi jail. At the same time, the religious minister and that the government supports the students' movement, but BNP Jamaat have created destruction and chaos in the country in the name of movement, which Islam does not support. Life is slowly returning to normal as of the number of people and roads increases. Curfew relaxation time has been extended daily amid the return to normalcy. Public transport, including private cars, is running in the capital on long-distance buses have started departing for various destinations. Shops, business establishments and courts are functioning normally, marking a significant step towards restoring everyday activities. We will be back after a short break. Please stay with us. Welcome back. You're watching News 24 English Bulletin. Additional Commissioner of the Detective Branch of Dhaka Metropolitan Police, Haruna Rashid, Nahid Islam, Asif Mahmoud, and three coordinators of the Kota movement have been taken into custody for interrogation. He also mentioned that efforts will be made during the interrogation to find out what was discussed with former Daksu VP Nurul Haknur and other leaders. And that's all from the newsroom today. Thank you for watching News24. Please stay with us.